Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to In Detention. My name is Kaiser. We're checking out Nitro Kit this time around. This game that came out this team on 18th October 2022. It's developed by Wild Boy Wild Boy Studios and published by Tiny Bill. It's a book like deck builder isometric with 1980s theme to it. Go to the Steam Store page, it reads Since Synthwave or like that deck builder set in the neon 80s. Pick your agent, build your deck, hit card combos, and fight through the floors of the Infinity Tower. Featuring 30 plus fresh synthwave tracks by Ludwig, Bone Box, and Jewel Sweeves. Now I've heard of the name Ludwig. Can't recall. Oh my god, what the heck is that for? Lying in my room? All these folks? <laughs> okay, where were we? Alright, so Ludwig sounds familiar. I think I've heard of their music once or twice but i can't recall the title of it what could they do let's check out the options menu okay just gonna i put the frame limit here but the resolution it's detected that's so i'm gonna leave it for now until unless my system can't cope up with it as we stream along but let's see how it holds up without further ado let's check out nitro kit would you like it looks like it's your first time here would you like to play the story hell yes sign me up johnny when you enter a fight the first thing you do is choose a tile for your hero to drop in after the enemy will, will take your turn and cast your attack intention place hero or oh, like he's playing basketball probably gonna use that to attack us with he's behind him Oh, he's immediately turned, so getting his blind spot was for not. Select the dot around. Eh, select the dot around the edges to learn about the past interface. Oh, sweet! I like. I like how it lets us read whatever we want first. Your profile. Your profile shows key information about your character. Bumps and debuffs are shown in the below the HP bar. The blue diamond shows your energy which is used to play cards energy is fully restored at the start of each turn and your maximum energy increases by one after defeating a boss any active mods you have are shown above the hero profile hp and shield is precious uh, hp is precious you lose if you if it reaches zero hp persists across fights and healing is rare oh that's something to remember <laughs> oh, I wish there was more healing. You heal, you heal to full HP up each floor. Okay, so each floor we have fully health. Shield protects HP by taking damage first at the start of each turn. Any remaining shield is half. Rounding down. Okay, I want to see how that works out. Your hand can hold maximum of 10 cards. Each turn you draw one random encore card from anywhere, usually from anywhere. And five more random cards from your draw crown. Usually your move card. Okay. I think I understand. When you when your turn ends, any remaining cards are discarded. Whenever you draw your draw pile is empty, your discard pile is reshuffled into your draw pile. Enemy profiles are shown in their turn order and when harvest, it will show enemy special traits. I'm guessing this is special trait maybe? You should check out enemy's profile if you haven't seen them before or simply need a reminder about what makes them unique. Objective. The fight ends as soon as you complete your objective. In normal fights, your objective is to defeat all enemies in the room. In elite and boss fights, the objective is to defeat specific powerful enemies. You get cash after each fight and you can and you get more the faster you win. Infusions. Fusions are special abilities that can provide huge advantages during combat. You can have up to two infusion, in, up to two infusions at once, and each infusion can be used once per turn. Infusions expand a charge when used, and fully expanded infusions can't be used until recharge. Whenever you rescue a kid, you can choose between gaining a new infusion or re recharging your current ones. Rescuing a kid. What the heck? Okay, I believe we are done. So now we can move. Oh, when enemy attacks, target gains two fragile. After this enemy's turn, enemy gains one strength. 
I like how he, his name is just Phil, you know? Phil the bad guy. Not F E E L, but what the E H I L. <laughs> mm, we can. So we can punch him three times. Won't kill him, but we'll deal a substantial amount of damage. Like he just uh. Okay, that's our end of our turn. No, oh, he said okay. So maybe placement does play a part. This is only swap to our left. You know he? Oh, we can kill him off, right? Get a damage apply. Actually, we can with this. Let's do that. You changed positions for no reason, buddy. Victory, well done. You have it in for the check. One of Infinity's Tower. Level one. It unlocks remaining when Cinder is in need of a close combat expert. They call on Lee. Ah, uh, Lee. Okay, Bruce Lee. I mean, look at that. That's Bruce Lee, alright. His mastery of countless martial arts styles and an and ever growing list of body enhancements keep him one step ahead of his enemies. With flames and fists, Lee breaks down his opponents, exploiting their weaknesses while staying out of harm's way. If Infinity is really holding, Kids captive release the man to save them. So two characters lock for now. This seems like a box here. Boxer on in the 80s. What could that be? I'm not sure. Probably my Tyson Mama Ali, I'm not too sure, I'm just guessing. For you, I'm not too sure. I see a, a long hair woman with a gun immediately tells me to meet him. I'm not too sure where there was that in the 80s. Let's see, I did our load down. So for now, we can't do much. Okay, mods. In addition to attack and skill cards, you'll find special mod cards. Wait, there's a skill card? Okay. I think we... Our last attack might be a skill that you can add to your deck. Mods have no immediate effect but they give you a passive benefit for the rest of the fight virtually all mods consume when played and you can see the mods you're currently benefiting from the from above your hero profile whenever an enemy dies apply three fresh to all enemies that's good actually single and multiple that a multi-target my god the music i just want to keep quiet and listen to the music but we have the game to uh, we have a game to play. Attack cards can be either single or multi-target. This is shown by the symbol on the left edge of the card. This one? I guess. When playing single target attack, you must choose a target and only that 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 one is set. On playing multi game, you don't have to shoot. Okay. can only choose to this turn the next zero cost card you play is played two additional time we have a zero cost card i did not know that oh okay probably there you go shift move one tile in any direction this one sounds good actually fatality oh this one is also good but we will pull them, deals 5 damage for Fragile modifies this Oh shit man Hmm Okay I'm, I see that there's a different background, I wonder what, why are they different Target one tile away and applies one day three damage on the three damage on collision. Move the target and move the character next to their target. If 
your deck. One play, remove from your deck for the rest of the fight. Add it to all attack damage we see further decreases by one at the end of your turn. Okay, wait, so we give them fragile, right? I think. At the start of their turn, the character takes damage equal to their burn count. And then it decreases by one, move target to the closest star just to you. Okay, so this one and this one is a consumable card. This three on. I'm torn between actually um, probably all of them except for this one. This one is good. So all in lines. So Where are you gonna pick this one and this one? this infinity tau and the mirror room oh so maybe we're going down so we're fighting robots now cleaning drone well we're fighting cleaning drone though enemies with melee attacks can oh my god there you are again flying in front of my yeah let's assume it's gone and carry on Enemies with melee attacks can only hit you if you are adjacent to them. A sword icon in an enemy's intention. A sword icon in an enemy's intention UI shows that they have melee attack. Auto turn. Enemies will auto turn uh, with an auto turn trait. Will automatically turn if you move to their into their attack range or attack within it. Almost all enemies have this trait, and you can exploit it to make them hit each other. Be sure to take into account planning your next How can I exploit it? Look out for their animated spinning arrow icon. It will appear above them whenever you are about to trigger an auto turn action. Okay, I have to see how this plays out because I can't. I don't know why. I can't envision it. Mm. Okay, I see that. I see that. How do I exploit it? I have no idea. I guess let's... I have no idea what to put so I'm just gonna put it there. So it's facing us. Try this out for kicks. It's still up. Shit, I thought it would die. Still have one more health actually. Mm. Okay, I guess end then. Oh, they will attack that spot that they are facing. Okay, now I, I think I understand. No, oh, just for the fun of it. get hit but I'm afraid that if we kill this guy at end of turn we will we will lose what's in this so let's oh he immediately attacks okay I'm a little bit confused I must say clean job we beat the room in three turns and at time to collect I wasn't expecting him to attack twice if I'm being honest 
or maybe he will when we deal that card he will do five damage to anyone around him if that's the case then that's sweet as hell card ranges melee attacks can only hit targets that are adjacent to you range can hit bugs in line with you as long as there aren't any objects in the way you might also encounter attack cards with global range which can hit targets regardless of your location symbol on the right edge of a card shows you its range the symbol right edge. is it this one yeah i think so choose one this time around Land to burn. Start off with your turn. A character takes damage equal to your burn count. I like this one. There's range to it. And it dazes an enemy. Not sure what all those are. This is our deck now. You gaze out over the surrounding landscape, the infinity facility tainted exhaust mixes with the waning sunlight, creating a pinkish hue that is that's as beautiful as it is unsettling. Still, your brain somehow feels foggier than the view. You take a moment to pull yourself together and remember the task at hand. Mm, so what is this increases your carbon and maximum HP by 3 upgrade your deck but lose 2 HP choose a card to add it to your deck let's choose this one dusk as usual your client's instructions were light on the details all you know is that infinity has been illegally holding a group of kids captive in a Miami research facility for unknown reasons your job is to infiltrate the building find the kids and safely extract them if you've seen bizarre missions in the past, but this one is definitely takes the king. Evil mega, mega corporations, prisoners in a secret lab. It sounds like a plot of some straight to VHS sci-fi movie. Fortunately, that's your favorite genre. You may not know why Infinity is holding these kids, but you are certain of your ability to save them. A shop. Let's see. This one is on sale. I mean, let's pick it up since it's on sale. No, I'm kidding. I'm guessing the actual price is expensive. Hmm. Start off your turn. A character takes damage equal to the upper. So, I'm not too sure whether the burn applies to us or the enemy. Maybe it applies to us? Hmm. 8 damage though And push them Daze them And 3 Extra 3 damage on a collision I'm guessing like a, another person or maybe Let's start with them A character to change the turn Enemies can't perform attack or chase reactions today is reduces by one whenever it present it prevents a reaction all days move it in a turn effects are applied all touch to one another sounds good I think I'm getting this too I hope I don't regret it Business Act Mission Brief. Um, okay, so we can go either line. Once we pick a line, that's it. You have to stick with it. 
VIP elevator unlocked. No. It needs a little bit of explaining, but it seems interesting. A different style to the rogue light. Like, don't know where you pick where you want to choose. Like, it presented in a different way, at least. Enemy room, enemy room. Hit. So this one does not have anything except for an elite. So this one seems like the best rock. We have multiple fights. Shop, shop. We don't need two shops at the time. Oh, but this one has a kit. I didn't notice that. Kit. Shop, shop. Then elite. Or oh, three fights and a kit. Let's do three fights and a kit. Since we are here to rescue a kit. I chopped it. Heal 20. So we can pick either or upgrade the card since we are of full health if I remember correctly let's upgrade one punch oh actually oh wait a minute oh it changes okay I thought we already upgraded one since we have plenty of punch let's do one can I choose this one? Oh, we can. Sweet. Infusions. Infusions are special abilities that can provide huge advantages during combat. You can have up to two infusions at once. And each infusion can be used once per turn. Expand a charge when used. Whenever you're skill you can see Okay. Okay, so this is our infusion. Add or recharge. I mean, we no point recharge. So let's add another one. Remove two weak and two fragile from yourself and heal to it. Sounds good. Oh, we can pick all that we want, huh? Hmm. Okay, anyway, let's upgrade one. Well. Okay, so we can go all the way if you want. That's sweet. Cell stick windowless door hangs open into the hallway. You peer inside the cell to find a small bunk, some cabinets, and a garbage can. Okay, thirty dollars heal. Oh, again, one charge for each of you. Nah, we don't need that. Let's gain cash. It's back to bunk. Stain sheet trails off a child-sized bed onto the floor. When you peek beneath the cot, you find a wad of cash and a series of crumpled notes. They appear to be written by a kid named Dylan who was charting, charting the guards, patrol, and routes and shift schedules. Smart kid. I think we have to go here all the way. Whether we want to do the rest is up to us. Let's go on it, fine. Oh, we have a rangey boy. And enemies with range attacks can hit you at any distance, but only if you are in line with them and there aren't any obstacles in the way. Ball icon. Indicates range. Chase. Enemies with chase straight will move one tap towards you whenever you move, but they can't move diagonally this includes move cards such as step as well as any other movement movement such as from teleporting or advancing cards look out for their animated footprint icon you will appear above them whenever you are about to be to trigger this reaction guessing okay, deal with this guy Push him. Just let's deal as much damage. You know, actually, this one might be good. Or you have to step in front. Let's gain shield. Just because it's gonna shoot at us. Which it did. 
we can't kill him for now or me in line huh maybe we move here and apply this let's try that Oh, maybe I'm supposed to aim him, huh? Oh, shit. That could be it. Alright, we're gonna get hit now. Oh, they're surrounding me. Get hit twice or apply fragile to these two. Are we ready for this? Oh, he died anyway. So that's good. They have fragile on them. around it what about this why is there for it oh yeah attack okay hmm like that this enemy gains strength okay all the more we have to get rid of him if you are at max HP increase it by one kill five Yeah, he punches everyone. Sweet, I like that. So if we get we are surrounded, all the more beneficial for us. Oh, he died because he had fragile. Sweet. Oh, is that the best you can do? Actually, we are quite. But mm, can't heal, unfortunately. I wasn't paying attention to the whether is there any lootable items in the map. <laughs> we got this. Let's take this one. Go to the shop, see what's for sale. OIP. Kill to damage. All OIP cuts deal additional damage. See what OIP cards is. If I just add it to all attack damage, you see. If I jump this, is it good or bad? Not actually. We can't afford it, so no point worrying about it. I mean, let's try this one. I'm curious to see what it is. Three strength. Okay, increase our attack. But only last a turn. I guess why not? We're out of money though. Push. Some enemies push objects they hit with their attack. When pushed, an object moves one tile away from the attacking enemy. However, if the tile they would be pushed into is already occupied, or doesn't exist, the push object takes 3 damage and doesn't move. Okay, so if you push against the wall, you take 3 damage instead. You can see if an enemy pushes on hit by hovering their profile. Auto attack. Enemies with auto attack trait will hit you whenever you use an attack card within their hit area. We'll also attack any target. Any other target that enters in the hit between your turn, look out for. Oh, this is good. We can use that against them. Hmm. Probably. Like, he's gonna attack on the. Sp Not too sure how we can do that, but. How we can make use of that, but I think we can. That makes sense. I think we have to get rid of this guy first. 
Ricky has a shotgun. I fear we may get cornered by this two or be cornered by this guy and this guy. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Not just turn based games. Okay, so we try here. So somehow that works, but the previous match it didn't work, so I'm not too sure. We have to be side by side, perhaps. next to their target before okay we don't need that for now maybe we need to use this to six six and one so this one can block the six at least okay this guy has auto target i forgot about that All right, and then oh, he got through. Oh, cause he pushed us to the corner. Oh my god, <laughs> might have been a mistake on my end. Six health left. Kill him, guy down. So he will auto attack no matter what. Maybe do I want to move here? Hope I sent to click on it. <laughs> Shit. All right then, and then. Okay, so attacking from behind doesn't do any bonus. That's good to know. We can push this guy. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Oh, we can't pull him back, unfortunately. Mm. Actually, we can. Oh no, we can't afford. I guess we just fly shield for no reason. Got killed again. Oh, this guy is brave. By taking us on to this guy. But he has full health, so we need to be wary of that. If we stand here and attack him, this will he auto attack us, and then his attack will be launched at us on this spot. Let's give it one a try. Okay, this guy moves. Was he? Oh, okay, he has cheese. I forgot. Mm. 
mean a damage yeah i think he will attack us on that spot brighter we are at least fighting one person at a time oh i wish we have a push cut we can push him on this spot He will die with this attack. Hmm. Oh, we can move here. But if we can move here, we can attack him. But here, moving here, he will attack us. It's a risky one, let's stay put there. We don't have any push or pull. That's downside. Oh, I forgot we have this. Okay. Let's move here. Um. Then we can use our nitro. Okay, then we can move here. Which he will move, probably. Maybe no? Ah, oh, cheese doesn't affect when we use our nitro. Seven. Oh. Ah, Felicia. Nice. Choose one. Deal four damage two times. I like this. Cut, cut its damage is lowered by one. This combat. Okay. This one was also good. Since we had problem with push and pull. I mean this one will deal 8 damage though. It's got damage slowed by 1 this combat. I'm guessing next time we get the cut it will be 3 damage twice. I'll take that chance. Only got 18 kind of for it unfortunately. Can afford to go shop. Mm, okay, folks, with that, I think that's the end for this inattention look where we took a look at Nitro Kit, a game that's developed by Wild Boy Studios and published by Tiny Bill. Came out to Steam on 18 October 2022. It's a very unique take on the. No, you, yeah, it's a it's a style take, I should say, on the roguelike deck builder and turn based strategy game. Plus a cool theme and some awesome music to accompany it. Alright, before we bid you farewell, before we bid farewell to Nitro Kit for any attention for now, let me provide you with the price for this Nitro Kit according to number of regions. First of all, we have pounds, £16.49, £19.99, dollars, euros. Where is that? 28 79 Australian dollars, and lastly, 19 for Singapore. So that's it, this has been Nitro Kid on Indie Tension. My name is Mikaiser. I'll see you then. You guys take care now.